5 million Americans playing, pickleball is the fastest growing sport in the U.S. But those living near outdoor courts say the sound of paddles hitting plastic is a source of constant irritation. CBS 13's Brad Rogers looks at plans to expand pickleball in rural York from four to six courts and neighbors fighting to stop it. The sound of bouncing plastic balls seems harmless enough, but a number of families who live near the York Paddle Tennis and Pickleball Club say those constant clacks for hours on end is maddening. It's like a, a I hate to do that, sound like a kid's toy, but it's it, that's what it sounds like, and it just reverberates right through this whole valley here. This must be a nice time of year for you, the quiet time. Well, it is somewhat quiet. The club now requires members to use sound-reducing paddles. Neighbors say it helps, but does not eliminate the noise entirely. Just last night and the night before, there was people out there playing, hooting and hollering, and you can hear them clears the bell right at our house here. Ellis and other neighbors now oppose a proposal to add two new pickleball courts in these woods behind the clubhouse, which also includes a plan to reduce the noise. The courts won't reduce the noise. Um, what will reduce the noise is the way that we're going to do the fencing. Incoming club president Lauren DeLong says they plan to build a six to eight foot fence on the sides of the pickleball courts facing neighbors. By putting up the fencing that we're proposing, um, the level of sound actually comes down way below um, the threshold. I can't believe that, Brad, that it's going to be quieter. Bob Ellis believes in closing the courts is the only way to suppress the noise. The only way I would accept the pickleball uh, is to enclose the building. I don't think the walls will ever stop the noise. Right now there are 300 members here at the club, but there are more than that on the wait list, which is why the club is desperate to build two new pickleball courts. The decision rests in the hands of the York Planning Board, a decision that comes down to noise. I can understand both sides. The club, you know, wants to expand. It's a very popular sport. Um, and the neighbors are understandably concerned about the noise. The planning board has asked sound consultants hired by the town and club to work together to try to determine if the sound barriers will bring the noise below the limit of 60 decibels, which is about the sound of a normal conversation. In York, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.